Art. Where should we begin? Take a guess at how long humans have been creating art. Can you believe that this cave painting was created nearly 40,000 years ago? Humans have been painting before they could even do math, read, or write. Creating art was and still is one of the strongest human impulses. But now let's move a bit closer to today and find out what was happening. Just 100 years ago, one of the most intensely creative periods of our time began. Now keep in mind that artists had moved beyond cave paintings by this point. They sculpted and painted with extremely realistic detail. Take a look at Michelangelo's David and da Vinci's Mona Lisa. But many artists during the early 1900s wanted to do something different. They didn't want to just paint or sculpt perfectly realistic images. They wanted to express how they felt and they wanted us to feel the emotions they were trying to express. One group of artists, the Blue Writers, came together in Germany to create a new standard in art. Art was to come from within the artist, rather than from the external world. The Blue Writers were part of an art movement called German Expressionism. These Blue Writers rebelled against the way art was normally created. They expressed feelings and abstract ideas, paving the way for abstract art. But before we talk more about these blue writers, let's pause for a minute to understand what we really mean when we say abstract art. Something that's abstract refers to an idea or feeling rather than a concrete object, like a rock or a tree, art. But keep in mind someone first drew this symbol and then they assigned the meaning for the symbol. It's just been so used that now when we draw the abstract idea of love, we draw a heart. We might even paint it red for romance or yellow for friendship to further express how we feel. But now let's get back to these blue writers. What abstract ideas did they express? The blue writers were trying to express something spiritual in their art, something beyond reality and life as we know it. Blue represented a spiritual color and the action of riding a horse signified that they were writing beyond realistic ways of making art. The founders of the Blue Rider group were Vosley Kandinsky and Franz Mark. Mark used color to express emotion in his paintings. He came closer to something spiritual in nature by painting animals rather than humans. Franz used color symbolism in his work. Here, in his yellow cow, yellow is feminine, gentle, and cheerful. Kandinsky expressed something spiritual he felt when he listened to music or focused on the sounds of words. He even decided to abandon drawing any recognizable images at all to make truly abstract art. In his composition 6, Kandinsky repeated the word Überflut over and over like a mantra while he was painting. Repeating this word released him from an artistic block as he was able to focus on the music of the word, finishing his composition 6 in just three short days. But what else was going on in the world during this time that could have influenced the Blue Riders? There were revolutions and assassinations from Russia to China. And even here in the United States, President McKinley was assassinated in 1901. And then in 1914, World War I broke out. The Blue Riders disbanded. Franz Mark would die in battle and Kandinsky would have to return to war-torn Russia. It almost seemed like the Blue Riders were predicting that we needed to think more about life beyond the physical world, something more spiritual. While the Blue Rider group ended in 1914, and Franz Mark, having died in battle, would never create art again, Kandinsky was only starting his art career, and would later reappear as one of the most prominent artists in history. <laughs> 